Indeed, uh, if we look at the second quarter, uh, things are turning softer. Uh, so after a relatively stabilized uh, first quarter, uh, into second quarter, uh, given the uh, uh, very like bad weather in various uh, cities and provinces, and also I think people are still waiting for the implementation of these policy stimulus. Uh, but uh, when we look at the companies across the board, uh, the message in the second quarter is uh, softer, especially it's uh, the lower season for many uh, subsectors. Uh, and uh, a few like uh, interesting surprise or observations. Uh, number one, uh, in these more challenging environments, we actually see uh, consumer discretionary ca uh, categories are perform uh, outperforming the consumer staple categories. And partially because uh, we think it's because uh, uh, some discretionary sectors, they may still have the volume penetration stories, while uh, for staples, uh, it's all in on the pricing, and the pricing, I think, is still under pressure. So this leads to the second observation that on the pricing trend, uh, first quarter was actually stabilized. But uh, into second quarter, uh, starting with uh, restaurant companies uh, initi initiating um, uh, another round of price competition, and also June 18 event across most of the subsector we are seeing year-on-year -year, uh, discount widening. So uh, pricing-wise, uh, we do see that uh, uh, the defl deflation concerns and impact on the scales uh, persist. And thirdly, uh, Offline uh, traffic has been pretty bad. On-premise consumption is under pressure. So the bright side is online. Uh, looking at the year today, um, these NBC, uh, NBC data, we actually see that on online sales consistently outperform. And uh, we believe, I think this reflects that uh, there was a high base uh, for offline traffic last year, given it's just uh, after reopening, people, are go uh, people were going out. But on the other side, uh, this reflects consumers are trying to look for value uh, mm -hmm. online, given uh, the pricing is more transparent. And uh, the number right. four observation How we are seeing is, uh, uh, although consumption is not good, but uh, uh, consumers are still pretty demanding, and uh, corporates, they want to attract consumers. Uh, so the speed of this new product introduction, uh, product cycle, I think is getting uh, faster, shorter. So uh, this actually leads to some challenges for companies uh, to reach the good scale and also uh, the heat rate of the good product that may impact the margin. But also, uh, last but not least, uh, the bright side we are seeing consistently in the past few quarter is actually uh, overseas business. No matter uh, some companies experience the uh, uh, benefit from the global restocking uh, cycle, or uh, some sectors we are seeing the structural opportunities uh, in the white space globally. Uh, but so far, we still see overseas uh, uh, the, the sales uh, continue to be uh, uh, accelerating uh, or still maintaining a very strong momentum.